A newly synthesized RNA molecule is called a primary transcript, which often undergoes further processing after transcription. In bacteria, transcription of mRNA is coupled to translation. However, in eukaryotes, the primary transcript of mRNA must first be processed. There are four major types of mRNA processing. 5' capping, 3' polyadenylation, RNA splicing, and RNA editing. A 5' cap is a residue of 7-methylguanosine linked to the 5' terminal residue of the mRNA through an unusual 5' to 5' triphosphate linkage. It binds mRNA to ribosome during translational initiation, and it also helps protect mRNA from ribonucleases. 5' capping involves three steps. First, phosphohydrolases cleaves gamma phosphate group from 5' end of the transcript, releasing inorganic phosphate. Next, guanylotransferase transfer guanosine monophosphate from GTP to the 5' end of mRNA transcript, forming a 5' to 5' triphosphate linkage, and releasing inorganic pyrophosphate. Next, guanine 7-methyltransferase transfers methyl group from s methionine, abbreviated as SAM, to nitrogen 7 of the terminal guanosine producing the primary transcript with 5' cap and s adenosyl homocysteine, abbreviated as SAH. Occasionally, 2'-O methyltransferase methylates 2' hydroxyls of the first and second nucleotides adjacent to the cap. Methyl groups are also donated by SAM. 3' polyadenylation also helps protect the mRNA from ribonucleases. First, RNA polymerase 2 extends the transcript beyond the site where the poly-A tail is to be added. Next, an endonuclease associated with the CDD, which stands for a carboxy terminal domain of RNA polymerase 2, cleaves the RNA transcript at a point 10 to 30 nucleotides downstream of a highly conserved sequence, known as AAUAAA. The cleavage site is indicated by O. Beginning at the cleavage site, polyadenylate polymerase synthesizes a poly-A tail which consists of 80 to 250 nucleotides long. The polymerase does not require a template but requires the cleave mRNA as a primer. In some cases, the polypeptide coding region of the mRNA is also modified by RNA editing. For example, deamination of cytosine to uracil plays an important role in the gene expression of lipoproteins, which functions in transporting lipids between different cells. APOBCE, which stands for APOV mRNA editing catalytic peptide, is responsible for the differential gene expression of apolipoprotein B in the liver and intestine. In the regular version of apolipoprotein B, known as ApoB100 produced in the liver, the sequence CAA codes for glutamine. ApoB100 is found in low-density lipoprotein, which function in the endogenous pathway of lipid transport. In the intestine, ApoBCE deaminates citidine to uridine, converting CAA to UAA causing a premature termination of the peptide, producing ApoB48 in cell ApoB100. ApoB48 is found on chylomicron, which is involved in the absorption of dietary lipids in the exogenous pathway of lipid transport. Other mechanisms of RNA editing includes ADARS, which stands for adenosine deaminases that act on RNA, which occurs in double-stranded RNA in hairpin. Adenosine is deaminated to inosine. In protists called trypanosomas, which causes sleeping sickness, guide RNAs, abbreviated as gRNAs, are responsible for uridine insertion and deletion. In eukaryotic primary transcript, non-coding DNA known as introns break up the coding segments called exons. RNA splicing removes introns from the primary transcript and joins the exons to form a continuous sequence that specify a functional polypeptide. There are two types of splicing mechanisms. Some introns are capable of splicing themselves. In group 1 introns, the 3' hydroxyl group of an external guanosine acts as a nucleophile, attacking the phosphate at the 5' splice site. The 3' hydroxyl group of 5' exon then becomes the nucleophile and attacks the phosphate at the 3' end of the intron, reducing the intron which is not in a lariat form, and the splice RNA. In group 2 introns, the 2' hydroxyl group of an internal adenosine acts as a nucleophile, attacking the 5' splice site to form a lariat structure in which the middle adenosine contains three phosphodiester bonds at 2', 3', and 5' ends. The 3' hydroxyl group of the 5' exon then becomes the nucleophile and attacks the phosphate at the 3' end of the intron, releasing the intron lariat and the splice mRNA. The same lariat forming mechanism as group 2 introns is also catalyzed by spliceosome, which is made of ribonucleoproteins, abbreviated as SNRMPs, each with small nuclear RNAs or SNRNAs and proteins. 
The major type of spliceosome includes the dinucleotide GU at the 5' end and AG at the 3' end. Marking sites where splicing occurs. First, U1 SNRMP binds GU at the 5' splice site. U2 SNRMP then binds internal adenosine residue, causing a bulge that displaces and helps activate adenylate. The 2' hydroxyl group of adenosine forms a lariat structure through a 2' to 5' phosphodiester bond. U4, 5, and 6 SNRMPs then bind, forming an active spliceosome. Internal rearrangement converts it to active spliceosome, producing the intron lariat structure and the splice mRNA. The minor type of spliceosome includes dinucleotide AU at the 5' end and AC at the 3' end. U11 SNRMP binds AU at the 5' site. U12 SNRMP then binds internal adenosine residue. U4 and 5 ATAC binds, forming the inactive spliceosome. U11 and U4 leaves, converting it to an active spliceosome, once again cleaving the lariat intron, producing the splice mRNA. Some genes can encode more than one kind of polypeptide, depending on which segments are treated as exons during RNA splicing. This is known as alternative splicing, which allows the same transcript to produce different proteins. Although bacterial mRNA are generally not processed, bacterial ribosomal RNA and transfer RNA undergo RNA processing. RNA transcripts and ribosomes are identified by their S values, which stands for Segber values indicating sedimentation coefficients that refer to the rate of sedimentation in centrifuge, which are affected by both shape and mass of the molecule. In bacteria, a single 30S pre-RNA transcript contains precursors to both ribosomal RNA and transfer RNA. 30S pre-RNA is methylated at specific bases. Some uridine residues are converted to pseudouridin or dihydrouridin residues. Ribonuclease 3, or RNase 3, cleaves the 16S and 23S pre-ribosomal RNA. RNase P cleaves pre-tRNA, and RNase E cleaves 5S pre-ribosomal RNA. The final mature 16S, 23S, and 5S ribosomal RNA products result from the action of a variety of specific nucleases. 16S ribosomal RNA combines with an additional of 21 proteins to form the 30S small ribosomal subunit. 23S ribosomal RNA and 5S ribosomal RNA combine with an additional of 36 proteins to form the 50S large subunit. During translation, the 30S subunit combines with the 50S subunit to form the 70S bacterial ribosome. In eukaryotic ribosomal RNA processing, there is a tight coupling between ribosomal RNA transcription, maturation, and ribosome assembly in the nucleolus. RNA polymerase 1 synthesizes 40S pre-ribosomal RNA in the nucleolus. 5S pre-ribosomal RNA is synthesized by RNA polymerase 3. SNOW RNPs, which stands for small nuclear ribonucleoproteins, guide nucleoside modifications. There are two classes of SNOW RNPs. SNOW RNPs with CD box domain catalyzes methylation at 2' hydroxyl group at specific bases, whereas SNOW RNPs with HACA box catalyzes pseudouridylation of specific bases. SNOW RNPs also cleaves 40S pre-ribosomal RNA into 18S, 5.8S, and 28S mature ribosomal RNA. The 18S mature RNA combines with 33 other proteins to form the 40S small subunit of ribosome, whereas the 5.8S, 28S, and 5S mature RNA combine with 47 proteins to form the 60S large ribosomal subunit. During translation, the 40S small subunit combines with the 60S large subunit to form the 80S eukaryotic ribosome. During eukaryotic transfer RNA processing, RNase P endonuclease cleaves the 5' end of pre-tRNA, whereas RNase D exonuclease cleaves the 3' end of pre-tRNA. tRNA nucleotidyl transferase adds trinucleotide CCA to the 3' pre-tRNA. Specific bases undergo base modification, including methylation, deamination, and pseudouridylation, and finally some introns are spliced out, producing the mature tRNA, which carries a specific amino acid during translation. As I mentioned earlier, 5' capping and 3' polyadenylation helps protect mRNA transcripts from degradation by ribonuclease. Degradation pathways ensure RNAs don't build up in the cell and direct synthesis of unnecessary proteins. E. coli RNA degradation involves RNase 3, which is the endoribonuclease, as well as RNase J, which is a 3' to 5' exo ribonuclease. 
Some small RNAs can also cleave mRNA and block transcription of specific genes. Eukaryotic RNA degradation is carried out by exosome, which is the 3' to 5' exoribonuclease. Processing the 3' ends of rRNA, tRNA, mRNA, and small RNAs. Eukaryotic RNA degradation can also be carried out by microRNA, abbreviated as miRNAs, which are non-coding RNAs of about 22 nucleotides long, complementary to particular regions of mRNAs. If it's perfectly complementary, target mRNA is cleaved. And if it's only partially complementary, translation is blocked. This process is known as RNA interference, and it is an important mechanism in regulating transcription and translation.